for people who've been listening and, and decided that they want to pursue this type of work, what would you recommend they begin in terms of areas of study, practical experience or, or job searching techniques to kind of do the type of work that you do? So I would say that when it comes to cybersecurity, a lot of people think that, you know, you need to have a degree in computer science or electrical yeah. engineering yeah. or something like that. And right. of course, for a lot of jobs in cyber, you do have to have that. You can't just wing it and hope for the best. You do yeah. need to have, yeah. you know, uh, yeah. like yeah. Security professional training. I definitely and, need that, yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. But um, I obviously didn't. And mm -hmm. um, for my job, I didn't need to. So mm -hmm. I would say when it comes to cybersecurity, um, if you think that you can't get into the industry because you're not in one of those fields right now, i.e. computer science, electrical engineering, whatever it is, right. don't let that put you off because I would say go with your interests. You know, that's what I did. My, um, Okay, my undergrad, I kind of did because I didn't know what I wanted to do. But my master's was purely done out of interest. And um, based on that, I ended up in this field. So I would say, again, there are some jobs where you do have to have specific um, educational yep. background for. But if you know that that's not for you, but you still want a role in cybersecurity, I would say follow what interests you. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, there are so many different fields that link into cybersecurity um, because it is such a broad domain and it's becoming yeah. so important in like almost every single thing we do. Yep. It's not, um, you know, explicit to those kind of technical degrees where, you know, it mm -hmm. might once have been. Right. And then I would say in terms of experience, you know, work experience is so, so important. Um, not it doesn't even have to be cyber security obviously you know if you can it's better um i didn't have work experience in cyber security companies but i did have a lot of work experience and it's just a really good way a to know what you don't want to do yeah. and also to kind of the working environment is so different to school or university or something like that that it's a really good way to kind of learn how to enter the working world Mm -hmm. um, and again, I think it's so important to do work experience to know what you don't want to do because it yeah, really, absolutely, you know, and also it can, it can open your eyes to what you do want to do. Like I had that experience mm -hmm. when I was in the investment bank, it realized, I realized, okay, this is not kind of where I want to go. Yeah. So not only did I realize that, but I also realized where I did want to go. So, mm -hmm. cause I mean, at 18 or 19 or whatever age you're going to university, it's so hard to know what you want to do. Um, that, getting as much experience as you can, even if it's not in the field you are going to end up in, it's a really, really um, important thing to do. So mm -hmm. again, I would say work experience and I would say follow what interests you yep. um, if you're lucky enough to know what kind of thing interests you right now. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's good advice in general, because I think we we hear a lot about people who, you know, are, are very nervous that if they if, if they get into this line of work and they don't like it, then, oh, I'm stuck there for life. But like, obviously, you can you can leave, you can move, you can pivot. There's there's so many different options. And and I think I, I'm always trying to sort of break that mindset of of what if I become a penetration tester and I don't like it? You know, well, then try something else. And go right. into, and go into risk assessment. Ex exactly. And I think um, obviously that can happen at any stage. But if you do work experience bef before as well, you can kind of realize that a bit sooner. But again, like you yep. said, it could happen at any stage, you know, so. Yeah. yeah. And also, I, just to jump back to another thing you said there, that that cybersecurity is so pervasive in any industry, I think it's also worth considering that, you know, if you have an interest in in things other than cybersecurity, that there's probably going to be a cybersecurity component to it. If you're interested in the music mm -hmm. industry, music industry needs cybersecurity experts. If you're interested in medicine, medicine needs cybersecurity. Teaching, teaching needs cybersecurity. Government, right. government, you know. So you, take your take your interest and then also see what would the what would the security component of that particular field be, right? Exactly, and things like even you know, of course, we have a marketing team, so you know, you might not need a computer science degree um, to be doing the marketing roles, but mm -hmm. you're kind of combining an interest in marketing and an interest in cybersecurity um, and doing them together. I'm excited to announce that our InfoSec skills platform will be releasing a new challenge every month with three hands-on labs to put your cyber skills to the test. 
Each month, you'll build new skills ranging from secure coding to penetration testing to advanced persistent threats and everything in between. Plus, we're giving away more than $1,000 worth of prizes each month. Go to infosecinstitute.com challenge and start your challenge right now.